what is going on everybody welcome back to the channel welcome all my new subscribers i want to take a second i want to thank each and every single one of you guys out there that take the time out of your day to watch and support my channel it means the world to me you guys rock everybody in today's video this is part five the finale of the detailing series featuring the lamborghini aveo <laughs> um this is the, the the finale so the the final chapter of of this detailing series now if you're new to the channel and you're just now tuning in this is a detail series basic based on uh the average joe weekend warrior detail diyer um just a detail series from start to finish on on the steps and the process of how i go about cleaning and detailing and sprucing up a car making it look good uh, so feel free after this video go back and check out part one part two part three part four start to finish and um this is a great little series for those that are just starting out that may want to, you know, take this and apply it and clean up their cars. And, you know, you may learn a thing or two. So go back and check that out if you'd like. Uh, so, yeah, part five, the finale is my favorite part, addressing the paint. Now, keep in mind, the paint on this thing is trashed. OK, I know that. I mean, I'm not trying to not trying to make it look you know take this car to some shows and and take it to auction and try to get the, the top dollar for it and that's not the, the case at all i mean the clear coat's peeling off the mirrors and the spoiler and the bumper it's peeled off and it's different colors and all that kind of stuff but we still transform this thing and we bring a lot of life back into this little mellow yellow race car so yeah um i explain my process as much as i can and do not worry i will put all the links to all the products and tools and everything that I use uh, down in the description below for you guys to see for yourself and check them out if you are interested. So yeah, part five, we're going to jump into this thing. Me and my apprentice, um, we're just going to go to work on this thing and 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 transform it, bring some life back into it. So I hope you guys enjoy it. So with that being said, enough jibber jabber. Let's hop into this Lamborghini Mellow Yellow race car and let's bring some life back into the paint. All right, everybody, before we hop on the paint, I thought, why not clean up these headlights a little bit? Now, I do have a dedicated video on my headlight restoration process, but I will explain it here. It's very simple. A little bit of water, a little bit of 3000 grit sandpaper with my rid sticks and just lightly sand the headlight, remove that little thin layer of oxidation and then polish it out. I do have my apprentice here helping me out and he wanted to learn how to wet sand and polish a headlight as well so i'm going to get him in here soon and, and let him play around and have some fun uh, but yeah we're going to take care of these headlights before we jump onto the paint All right, now that my apprentice has the light wet sanded, it's time to polish it out. And of course he wants to learn how to do that as well. So I'm gonna teach him here, teach him the ways, let him get his hands dirty. Uh, here I'm using my Flex PXE 80 paired with the two inch APS backplate and extension with a Griot's Garage Boss microfiber pad and the Papa Cut 2.0. And it's working amazing. My little apprentice is really getting good and he's dialing in his technique, helping dad out in the garage. Couldn't be more proud. So we just go ahead and, you know, finish this step one. We go ahead and, and compound out the headlight before we move on to the polishing stage. Thank you. 
All right, so now that I'm done with the compounding phase, I got my apprentice over there working on the other headlight. He's doing a great job. I switch over to a yellow Rupes pad. I stick with my pop cut and give it a nice polish just to just to refine those scratches just a little bit more if there was anything left that the pop cut didn't didn't quite reach. Uh, but this really does bring some nice gloss and, and shininess back to the headlight. And then we'll be done. All right, now that we got the headlights taken care of, time to focus on this paint. And man, this this paint is just trashed. I mean, there's no way we're bringing this thing back all the way. But we are going to bring some nice shining gloss back into this. Uh, as you can see, there's some deep scratches, oxidation, clear coats failing. But we're still going to put a little Smurf touch on it and see see what we can bring back. See how good we can make it look. Um, and and you know bring some life back into the paint. All right, so let's jump on the paint. I'm grabbing my ShineMate EX620 15 millimeter polisher. I love this thing. Pairing it with the Eurofiber 5050 pad with my Papa Cut 2.0. Now this was the first time I actually got to, to use and test the new version of Papa Cut 2.0. It cuts better, it finishes better. I mean, I absolutely love this stuff. The cycle time is phenomenal. Absolutely zero dusting, wipe off a breeze. I couldn't be more happier with this pop cut. Works great. Results speak for themselves. Right now I'm running my polisher on speed four, uh, but turns out this clear coat is actually on the harder side um, at, when I did a little test spot. So I knew I could run my polisher a little bit faster, which is why I'm running it at four. And later on, I run it on four and a half to sometimes five, which I normally don't do, but the clear coat could handle it. And I'm really not being too picky about the clear coat on this thing because the paint is just trash but we're just looking to bring some life back into it and and see see what we can get out of it All right, so as I bring you guys in, you can see here the Papa Cut did a fantastic job. Is it perfect? No way. But look at the richness of the yellow, the color we brought back into this little mellow yellow Lamborghini race car. I'm happy with that. As a one step, I could stop here, but we're going to we're going to take it to the next level and add a little bit more gloss to it at the same time we protect it. So, let's let's move on.
now that we got the whole car done, I'm just going around here with my Gion prep and wiping down to remove all the polishing oils left over from the pop cut. And then we're gonna move on to the polish and protect stage. All right, so here I'm reaching for my blend all-in-one polish and protection here. It's a combination of Carnuba and SIO2 protection. States about four months of protection, but what I really like about it is its ability to polish correct and leave the paint feeling silky smooth. I absolutely, absolutely love this stuff. And here you can see my arm speed is much faster than before so i'm not really going after you know polishing or finishing out or anything of that nature here i'm more worried about just getting even coverage of the product everywhere that way it has protection Right, everybody the finishing touches you already know we have to dress the tires i am using adam's graphene tire shine really enjoy this stuff to give the tires the perfect satin deep rich look that i go for in a tire so yeah you know last step is always dress the tires that's like the cherry on the cake so let's get it done
everybody. We are jumping into a quick final thoughts segment on the Lamborghini Aveo Part 5. Um, man, this thing turned out absolutely <laughs> way better than I anticipated. Um, is the paint perfect? No. Uh, but did you see the the richness of the yellow that we brought back in the paint? And uh, surprisingly, the paint was more on the harder side. I was surprised at how well... Uh, how how much pressure and the speed normally i run my polisher on on around speed three and a half is all i need and i was running it on four and a half uh sometimes five um and it seemed to like that and normally i don't do that but the paint the clear on this thing was actually pretty hard uh surprisingly uh so it took it well uh now as you guys could see i did use my pop cut this is the pop cut 2.0 this is the new version um absolutely did work i mean i did half the hood at a time with very little product um it cuts great it finishes fantastic i probably would have been good just putting a, a sealant on it right after I, you know i can i did pop a cut and the Eurofiber pad phenomenal combination on medium to harder clears you can get away with the one step no problem with this pop a cut 2.0 it finishes down absolutely incredible it did work wipe off is a breeze then you see me come in with my blend um, now you can see that my arm movements are a lot faster when i'm on the the polishing stage this is gonna basically polish it out didn't need to be finished out because um, the clear was on the harder side so the pop cut actually did great as a one step but this is all in one this is blend this is which is this is going to give it protection as well up to four months um this blend i absolutely love this stuff um, it has the ability to cut extremely well uh, but uh, the protection it leaves is great great hydrophobics nice slick paint uh, very easy to work with zero dusting at all um, so you can see my arm movement like I said is a lot faster I'm really not going after um, uh, finishing down or removing any more defects um, although I am uh, I'm just worried about getting even coverage of the product on um, that way it gets some protection on it works phenomenal I love it and then afterwards, at the very end, I did wipe it down with SiO2 Pro from Vonix. This is really a great uh, spray wax, uh, ceramic spray sealant. It's a Carnuba ceramic hybrid. Um, just before he picked it up, I wasn't going to, but I said, why not? Um, it got a little bit dusty. I just kind of sprayed it down, wiped it down with that afterwards. Nice little cherry on top. And uh, the thing looked incredible. I mean, from when it came in to when it left, I mean, really brought some life back into this thing with very minimal effort. I mean, that was very minimal. Like I said, I could have stopped after I used the pop cut and the Eurofiber pad, did my paint prep and just wiped it down with, with the SiO2 Pro and it would have been good. Uh, but I wanted to give it that extra little pop. You know me, you know, the extra little pop of Smurf, the double stamp Smurf of approval on this little Lamborghini Aveo turned out great he sold it uh he made money on that thing and uh, i know whoever whoever has it is like i picked up the cleanest little mellow yellow race car around <laughs> so that's pretty much it guys um really really had fun shooting this series for you guys i enjoyed it i hope you guys enjoyed it if you guys have any questions comments concerns just drop them down in the comments you know i will reply to you i'll answer it um, so yeah, I'm going to wrap this up. I appreciate all you guys for tuning along. I will put this in a playlist. That way you can watch it from start to finish, learn some tips and tricks along the way. And I want to take the time and thank you guys again. If you guys found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to the channel. Definitely smash that thumbs up while you're down there. Click that little notification bell. That way when I upload more videos, you guys get notified. And you won't miss, a, miss an upload. So, yeah, um, I appreciate all you guys for taking the time out of your day to watch and support my channel. I hope all you guys out there have a fantastic day, night, evening, whatever it is where you're at right now watching. And I'm going to catch you guys all on the next video.